This is a list of the top 100 trending topics in the U.S. right now. World Cup downhill skiing event at Matterhorn cancelled due to weather. Logisime Biance, Italy. More heavy snowfalls and strong winds at the Matterhorn Mountain made a men's World Cup downhill impossible to race Sunday, wiping out the weekend program for the second straight year at the sport's newest venue. Race organizers said the cancellation also was forced by the forecast for strong winds throughout Sunday. At what is the highest altitude course on the World Cup circuit? There has still yet to be a downhill race at the Grand Becca course, which starts in Switzerland at 12,100 feet and crosses the border to finish in Italy. It is intended to be an early season start for speed racers at a potentially iconic venue. Last year, the Grand Becca designed by 2010 Olympic men's downhill champion Didier Defago was to be inaugurated with back-to-back -back weekends for men's and women's downhill racers that all were lost because of a lack of snow. Two women's downhills are scheduled next weekend at the course near storied Swiss resort Zermatt. The men's World Cup circuit now has started the season with three cancelled races because of weather. The season-opening giant slalom at Solden, Austria. Two weeks ago was abandoned after 47 starters in the first run because of dangerous winds. The men's World Cup moves to Gurgel, Austria, for a slalom scheduled Saturday. Speed racers should now start their season at Beaver Creek, Colorado, with two downhills and a Super G scheduled from December 1st to 3rd. Terms of Use Privacy Policy Interest-Based Ads Copyright ESPN Enterprises Incorporated. All rights reserved. Indian Sports Highlights, November 12th, Sumit Nagel loses ATP Challenger Final. Balaji wins doubles welcome to ESPN India's daily live blog for Indian Sports. Keeping you up to date with the latest and greatest from the wide variety of sports with an Indian interest. The blog runs throughout the day and is frequently updated, so do check back ready with your F5S to refresh the page. Tracking Indian sport can be tough, but we're here to make it easy. Follow this space every day. India make it 9 to 0. India posted a mammoth 410 after batting first in their last World Cup League match against the Netherlands and then even had time for Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma to roll their arms over and pick up a wicket each, as they beat the Netherlands by 160 runs. You can relive the match with the live commentary and more here. Now all eyes turn to the Vonkede Stadium in Mumbai, where India will face New Zealand in the semi-final. In a repeat of what happened four years ago, when Kohli's team fell agonizingly short. Gokulam finish with a win. They were already out of contention for a spot in the final, but Gokulam Kerala finished their AFC Women's Club Championship campaign with a fine 4-3 win over Bangkok FC. Gokulam trailed three times, but came back to win at the death, thanks in no small part to Veronica Appiah's hat-trick. The final will be contested between Japan's Urawa Red Diamond and South Korea's Hyundai Steel Red Angels. Some good news from Indian tennis. At the ATP Challenger in Helsinki, Finland. Singles, in arguably the biggest final of his career, Sumit Nagel came short in a seesaw contest against Corentin Mutet in the final. The Indian lost the first set 3-6 and was trailing 0-2 in the second, before staging a comeback to win the second set 6-3. He even led 2-0 in the third set before Mutet, once ranked 51 in the world, dug deep to win the next six games and take the match earlier, Nagel had reached the men's singles final with a 6-1.
6-4 win over Stefano Travaglia. He is expected to breach the top 150 in the world rankings following his impressive showing in Finland. Doubles, Sriram Balaji and Andre Begman won the men's doubles title, beating the all-Indian pair Vijay Sundar Prashant and Jivan Nadenchezian 6-2, 7-5. What happened yesterday? You can look back on a detailed version of yesterday's events here. But the major bullet points are The big news of the day was Dheeraj Bamadevara who clinched India's first Paris Olympics quota in archery after he claimed a silver at the Asian Continental Qualification Tournament in Bangkok. After his senior colleague Tarundeep Rai's last eight exit, Bamadevara was the lone Indian in fray and the 22-year-old did not disappoint cruising into the final with two straight-set wins. Rohit Rajpal was reappointed as the non-playing captain of the Indian Davis Cup team until December 31, 2024. Terms of Use Privacy Policy Interest-Based Ads Copyright ESPN Enterprises Incorporated All rights reserved U.S. Women Down Canada for second straight win in rivalry series. Associated Press. November 12, 2023, 5.46 a.m. Share. Like Like. Open extended reactions. Like. 1. Los Angeles. Youth and several opportune bounces have so far provided the United States women's national hockey team the edge in winning the first two games of its rivalry series against a more experienced Canadian opponent.